<laughs> I've just realised where I am. Well, one car we've lost there on the first lap, James Everard in the E30 M3, unfortunately, that's a great shame. It's more than Roger Stanford's on the grass, he's going to go round. Off goes Roger Stanford. Fortunately, nobody T-boned him there as he spun across and clicks the tyre wall on the inside. Disaster for Roger Stanford. The pace car is in pit lane. 15 minutes of racing gets underway down towards Gerrards. They thunder for the first time. Look at them twitching around on this slippery surface here at Mallory Park. Great start by Jason West. He'll lead the way. Jason Hughes up into second place in the Vectra. And the Aston Martin struggle to get the power down there. Ricky Cannon has dropped back a little. take uh, Tom Abbott as well. Ian Bowers on a super touring lookalike BMW moves past the rather smoky Capri of Tom Abbott. I hope that's not a sign of mechanical dramas. Ricky Can racing it out with James Everard. He started from the back after failing to finish race one in the BMW E30. Let's make a move on that monster Aston Martin. He goes through. traffic there go the leaders oh we got somebody off James Dunkley he's lost a wheel there you can see in the gravel trap that car's lost I think both its rear wheels that is absolutely extraordinary Maybe it, unless it lost one. We didn't see it go off unless it lost one and then the other was torn off as it went into the gravel. I've never seen that before. And the chequered flag is being shown. It was going to take a while to uh, pluck the Fiesta out of the gravel there. So uh, the race ends early with a win for Jason West. Jason Hughes is your classic Thunder champion. And provisionally, I think that means that Martin Reynolds flashing the lights there is your Blue Oval Saloon Series champion. Provisional result then, Jason West the winner and Jason Hughes second. Hughes the new Classic Thunder champion in the ex-Jason Plato Vectra. Paul Wood and James Everard from the back of the grid rounds out the top ten. lights to go out.
the hairpin then. He's under fire from Andy Neal in the Rocket Rocket Peugeot. Third place is Everard. who leads from James Everard in the M3. He leads the pre-93 split, of course. Gary Preble down a third, a rare mistake from him. Very experienced saloon car racer. Look at the slide there from James Everard and Preble nearly getting a wheel on the grass there on the inside. Well, the uh, BMW E30 M3, not only known as a touring car, it is known as a rally car as well, the likes of Patrick Snyers, the Belgian, rallying them on tarmac. And I think some rallying techniques can have been employed here by James Everard in second place, chased by Preble. his way back up the order but uh, these two are four seconds behind Andy Neal's Peugeot now has done a 59.435 fastest lap of the race so far you can see Preble all over Everard for second place into Stevy Strait he's going to go up the inside he goes through and the Honda back up into second overall and second of the pre 03s now he's going to try and catch Andy Neal through there is Preble there's Everard in third I keep going to say Stanford instead of uh, Everard I do apologize over the line they go the three leaders blue white and red eventually 180 degrees swing around the lake here at Mallory Park Yes, cars have ended up in that lake in the past. Most famously, Paul Eaton, the father of Abby Eaton, in that in uh, a Euro car. Remember those, the uh, space frame Ford Mondeos back in the late 90s. So, and Everard still leading the 393 touring cars. Second of them is David Griffin, still leading his class. And third. In 303 is Simon Wall. They lap Andy Sheraton in the Laser Tools BMW running at the back of the field. C3325i. Neil is responding to the uh, pressure here, but James Everard is just on the fastest lap of the race 57.107, so it really is drying out out there. Now really putting Preble under pressure here for second overall. They're going to go either side. Look out, Paul Hinson. <laughs> James Everard, the pre-93 
23 leader. He wants to beat the 303 car sideways again as they come off Gerrard into the Stevie Straits. He's going to get alongside here on the run up towards the SEs. He's going to go through on the inside into second place. Beautifully done by James Everard in the M3. has come down to 1.75 seconds now because Everard has just done the fastest lap, 56.386 now. It's going to be a win for Andrew Neil. The blue flag's been waved frantically at the back markers. Everard at the inside. He's going to win the pre-93 splits. But it's going to be an overall win. And a first win in pre-03 touring cars. The Pocket Rockets. Andrew Neil's Peugeot 106 exits the final corner. Flashes the lights. And comes across the line to win. Ahead of James Everard by 0.7 of a second. Third goes to Gary Preble. Look at that, a formation finish around the slowing down lap. Well done, drivers. It was Le Mans style. Andrew Neil, the winner by less than a second in the end ahead of James Everard. They win their respective championship splits. Gary Preble takes third. Okay, we can now go down in a second to uh, Ian Waterhouse, who's in Park Fermi. You can hear from our race winners. Let's uh, let's see if we can grab James as well. Uh, James, quick word if we can. Uh, you were getting, uh, you were really closing at the end there, weren't you? One yeah. more lap, maybe. One more lap, maybe. Yeah, but a, a few more drive ends, and we'll uh, we'll have, we'll have so a difference. race two then. Race it's going to be bone. We as think as we it's going to be bone dry. Yeah, I really hope that so. could be your race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll put the proper tyres back on, and uh, we'll hopefully be our race. Their final race of the season gets underway. And uh, across there, James Everard, and that blocks uh, an attack from David Griffin. They slid off the line there. Gary Preble already trying to move through into the lead as they come down into Gerard's. But it's Everard round the outside of everybody. What a start by the E30. I think he'll have the lead as they come out of Gerard's for the first time. Yes, it's the BMW that leads the way from Gary Preble. Andy Neal, rather caught napping there, is down into third place. It's Ian Bauer with a super start as well up into fourth. As long as he finishes ahead of David Griffin here, he will take the pre-93 Touring Car Championship for uh, this year. Away goes James Everard in the E30 though. Can the ex-Stanford family car take a win here? Hopping its way down to the hairpin there, chased by Gary Preble over the top of Devil's Elbow for the first time they come then. This is going to be a spectacular thrash to the flag. Gary Preble already having a look. We saw these two having a bit of a scrap earlier on but that was for second place behind Andy Neal this time it's for the lead Neal down in third and under fire from Ian Bauer who wants to put as much distance between himself and David Griffin as he can there's Simon Ward the local man in the Astra James Everard the ex classic Alfa Romeo racer holds his lead here comes Gary Preble former king of Castle Coombe in the Honda Civic up the inside he's going to take the lead surely into the S's under braking he goes through Preble leads and the BMW relegated to second place towards the right-hander at the shores here been a flash of flame out of the exhaust pipe of the Honda Civic there the backdrop of a fine sunset here in Leicestershire there's our leader we'd almost forgotten about Gary Preble he's so far ahead now nearly seven seconds up on James Everard 
11 seconds off Gary Preble now. He lost a couple of seconds due to back markers on that last lap. I don't think we're going to see any major changes barring any major problems in this race. Great to have uh, a driver of the calibre of Gary Preble with uh, the Prio 3 Touring cars this year. He is going to waltz away with the title. Nearly 12 seconds up on James Everard now. He is going to be a really potent threat for the pre-93 title if he does the full season next year. Shaw's hairpin for the final time. Formerly the king of Castle Coombe, he is now the king of Simply Service pre-2003 touring cars. Here he comes, your race winner and champion, Gary Preble. What a dominant season. He backed off around the final lap there. James Everard closed in by a few seconds. He takes second and wins the pre-93 split. Ian Bauer comes over in third. chat with uh, James Everard as well, of course picked up the uh, pre-93 win as well. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. Andy, hello oh, guys, uh, congratulations. Hi, uh, of course, uh, second on track, but actually you won the pre-93, yeah. so that's the main thing. Uh, yeah, how like was it out there? Civic, but no, it was really good, really good, really enjoyed it. I'm absolutely red hot. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've been running the, the um, some Toyos that are more of a, a softer tyre, and I made the wrong choice. I thought it was still going to be a bit damp and I should leave yeah. the softer ones on, but the right call would have been the hard. Um, so they went off a bit towards the end, but it was really crack, really enjoyed it. Yeah. It's, been, it's been quite a unique day, actually, hasn't it? Sort of the first race for everybody, not just obviously the pre-93s and 03s, was wet. And in the second race has been bone dry. Is it quite nice when it's like that on a day? It's, it's, it's a big mix into the front wheel drives normally, you know, yeah. dominate in, in, the, in the wet and in this one's case in the dry as well. But uh, it was it was nice to get that mix. We haven't done enough wet this year, which is considering we live in England, that's quite a lot to say. But yeah, we've had good. a great year, haven't we? Yeah, we've had a good year. <laughs> it's been so, a good year. But no, I really enjoyed it. Thank you very well, much. Well, no, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah.